My name is Heather and I am the social media and marketing manager here at Red Leg Brewing Company and I am back this week with another recipe. Last week we made stout brownies and this week we're going to make IPA chili um, and we're going to use our Wild Weasel IPA. Now chili is personally a favorite meal of mine so I'm really excited to share this recipe with you and I hope that you'll give it a try at home. I will be posting the link to the recipe in the comments or in the description of this video so that you can follow along or try it yourself anytime. So the ingredients that we need for this recipe is extra virgin olive oil, coarse salt, pepper, ground beef, ground Italian sausage, one red onion, one red bell pepper, one orange bell pepper, one yellow bell pepper, one jalapeno pepper, four garlic cloves, one six ounce can of tomato paste, a fourth a cup of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of dried oregano, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a fourth a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a fourth teaspoon of dried chili flakes, one 12 ounce bottle of your favorite beer, one 20 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, one 14 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, one 15 ounce can of black beans drained and rinsed, one 15 ounce can of pinto beans drained and rinsed, one 15 ounce can kidney beans drained and rinsed, a half a cup of pure maple syrup, and then for toppings, freshly grated cheese, sour cream, avocado, tortilla chips, chives, cilantro, red onion, or anything that you like to put on your own chili. So starting out, I have already prepped a lot of my ingredients so that we can just throw them in the pot, cook whatever we need to, and then uh, let it simmer. Here I have my bell peppers. This is one red onion, my jalapeno chopped, I've got four cloves of minced garlic. These are all of my dry ingredients because we're gonna be adding them at the same time with the exception of salt and pepper because I like to add those to taste. Um, so I'll just add them as I'm cooking. I have all of my beans drained and rinsed. We have our olive oil, which we're gonna use in just a moment to cook our um, meats. And then the maple syrup. Okay, so I've already added my olive oil, so now I'm going to add one pound of Italian sausage and one pound of ground beef and go ahead and brown that for about eight to 10 minutes. Or just make a big mess, you know. Okay, now that my meat is done, I'm gonna go ahead and drain it and then place it in a dish and just leave it to the side until we need it later on in the recipe. Now that my meat is done, I'm changing pots over to my Dutch oven because it is larger and I can let the chili simmer for a while before serving. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add the onions, peppers, and garlics. Now because I've already rinsed out my pan, I'm gonna add a dash of olive oil and then stir until all of the vegetables are coated. and bell peppers have cooked and are softened, I'm going to add a six ounce can of tomato paste and all of my dry ingredients. We're just gonna stir and let this cook. What we're looking for is for the tomato paste to darken in color. It should take about five to six minutes. Okay, now that we've let the tomato paste um, cook for about five minutes in the seasonings, we're going to add the meat and the 12 ounces of beer. Okay, now we're going to add our beans, our crushed tomatoes, our fire roasted tomatoes, our maple syrup, and then bring the entire mixture to a boil. Okay, so I've reduced my heat to leave my chili at a simmer. I'm gonna let that simmer for at least an hour, and I will check on it periodically 
giving it a stir and tasting it as I go along. I'll go ahead and add more salt, beer, whatever I see fit. In the meantime, I'm going to make some cornbread because we enjoy eating cornbread with our chili here. And then I will insert some photos of what my finished chili looks like. I do hope you'll go ahead and give this recipe a go. And if you make any changes, please let me know. I'd really like to hear how they turn out. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.